And here we are, back with, uh, let's play Quest 60, uh, Quest 64. Yeah, um, not necessarily always that great with the S's, um, when trying to speak fast or whatnot, whatever. Um, yeah, rock guys, ow, I, I totally failed at dodging that one. It gets a little, uh, it takes a little while to really get used to, uh, dodging some of the attacks, but, uh, each, uh, most of the attacks have a way to dodge it, which I don't really have to tell you because, well, I like the idea of you guys learning how some of the stuff works yourself. Um, yeah, I mean, use your minds, learn for yourself. This is mostly just a little, yeah, anyways, so we have two directions. We're going to go this to the right first. And look, here's a spirit right here. Let's go ahead and get it in with water. So we now have six water. Uh, it's not enough for the spell. Gotta get one more. Um, here's some new enemies. Uh, yeah, I just hit two with one spell, which is pretty nice. Although it did not kill them in one hit. And yeah, but I did kill the both of them after that time. Yeah. Anyways, um. Let's see, more rock, dodge their attacks with the, well, you can see how I dodge the bat of wind attack. Um, yeah, let's see, what should I try, okay, rolling rock, there we go, and I hit two of them with rolling rock. Uh, a lot of the spells that you do, or use, um, well, uh, aiming, yeah, basically you have to learn how to aim your spells, which that takes practice, of course. Um, and a lot of the spells I don't even know because I've never really looked into the wind and fire spells much. Because, yeah, um, anyways, so, uh, I mostly only know the rock and water and, uh, the what rock and water spells. And, of course, there are some, well, I don't really know how to explain it. Basically, there's three levels of uh, attacks. You, uh, the first level, you either press the C button for the uh, left for fire. Uh, well, hold on. Well, whatever direction it is. Um, no, wait. Hold on. Left for earth, down for water, right for wind, and up for fire. Um, yeah. There I just leveled and I get another one right here. But yeah, see I have healing now. Which you press the water. Okay. So the levels of the levels of spells. Um the first level you press the C button that you want. Left for earth, down for water, right for wind and up for fire. The second level will uh You'll, it will show you what you can use on the second level, which can be a, either a second level of the element you choose, like earth. If you choose the earth one, the first thing you get is uh, that rock attack that you see me uh, use all the time. And uh, then you will see... Um, you'll see a list of the next ones you can use and the second earth for the level 2 earth if you choose that one and choose earth for the, the second time in a row it will bring you to the level 2 earth which is basically the level 2 of that attack which is a little bigger and a little more range and then you can press earth again for the third level and that's the final level but they also have where you can mix the uh thing so if you press earth then you'll have a choice of whatever the earth rock or, or hold on earth fire spell or the earth water spell or the earth wind spell whatever those would be and etc etc to the third thing like mixing each um each element with each other to create different spells if that even makes any sense for healing um, yeah, and there was a free spirit there, by the way, in this hut. Uh, and we're taking the left route now. 
um, which is the way we need to go to find the thief. Oh, and let's go this way. Okay. Um, for the healing spell, you press the water element, and then you press the rock element. So it's a water level one, or uh, the level one part is water, and the level two part is earth to get a healing spell. Anyways, so yeah, that's basically as much as I'm going to explain on that. You guys can figure it out on your own if that doesn't make sense. Or whatever. I don't know. Um, these guys are dangerous up close. They'll send a tornado, which... It totally doesn't... Uh, it totally cuts out at the wrong times when I'm trying to show you these the attacks they do. Okay, there's the tornado. Takes out like five, which is quite a bit at this point, I guess. Hey, look at that. 17 magic and 57 health now. So I've gained seven heart point and... Uh, to magic and yeah after every battle it is imperative to heal after every battle like seriously and then as you run the magic power will increase slowly um yeah so let's just keep following this path um the reason it's imperative is you can get into a battle into a random battle like random times and if you don't heal it is they take out enough that they could easily kill you. Um, yeah, like, really easy. And I'm not really sure why that scene of the... Whatever, just ignore that. That's called fail. Okay, anyways, um, fighting these guys again. Now, what was I talking about? Anybody remember? That's, that's another fail. <sighs> I sure fail a lot. But whatever. Rolling Rock. Oh, sweet. I got three of them. Look at that. Did you see that? Okay. Yeah. Rolling Rock can be quite useful when there's lots of enemies. You just have to aim right. Like, get at the right distance and stuff. See there? I hit both of them. Yeah. And, uh, I thought I was going to hit two, both of those guys with that one, but I didn't. Um, so yeah. Let's see. We can melee him. Hey, see? There's a little water spell there hmm okay when the, hey look at level up and now we have 10 water and 10 earth and I now heal six instead of five um that number will be getting higher as water increases and as my health increases as you'll see later but for now let's just go on and we're gonna be leveling up earth from now uh, for a while I think to 15 and then we bring water up to 15. That's just the way I like to do it. Keep them, keep them even till about 20, I guess. And then at that point, you heal enough that you can just bring up your rock for attacking power. But yeah. Hey, look at that. Okay, so I guess the water works on these guys pretty well. Yeah, one hit kill. Oh yeah, booyah. Take that, yo! Okay, um... I don't usually talk like that, but whatever. I have my moments, I guess. And everybody has the moments, so... Although not necessarily for talking like that or anything. But, oh man, it wasn't one hit. And ow, he takes out eight with that thing. Seven. That's just a lot of health right now. Although it does help me get more defense and stuff when they hit me. And yeah, whatever. I now take 59 health, which that's pretty good, I guess, for now. It's definitely helping, at least. Yay for the frog guys! I don't really like them very much, but they're pretty easy. And if you, uh, by the way, uh, when they have these multiple wind attacks, like those three right there, it's not really too great to run around to try to dodge it. You'll usually end up, um, hey look, I got a silver amulet from them. Anyways, um, You'll usually end up... Oh, there's a uh, spirit over next to that tree with the root coming out into the uh, path there. there is, yeah, another free spirit already. Okay, um, there we go. Oh, hey, look, I leveled up. Okay, uh, no wait, never mind. Sorry, I, I missed recording that part. I got the free spirit, and I leveled up Earth. And there, now I leveled up and got Earth. Yeah. Going on, sorry about that. 
Oh, great, I forgot what I was just talking about again. Eh, look at this, the plant. A big rose with one eye. Hit it with earth, and it only does 11 damage. And then it heals 5. Um, yeah, I usually get in to melee it. Because melee does more than... Hey, wait, water. Whoa, whoa. Dude, water takes out a lot more than my melee. Let's use water on these guys. They'll go a lot faster. Seems there's somewhat uh, a strength to earth too anyway, so yeah. Healing! Oh man, already another battle? I didn't get a... Oh, whatever. Okay. Um, yeah. Out of MP. Gotta run and get... Oh, dang it! Okay. Um, yeah, I'm escaping this one. Okay. Um... There are times when you can run from battle if you don't have enough magic power, if you don't want to die or whatever. Um, yeah. It, you can leave. There are plenty of random battles to make up for the experience and stuff. So d feel, free, feel free to escape a battle if you need to. Okay? If you need to. Of course, it is also good to fight as many as you can for the experience, but you don't have to fight every single one. But remember, it is good to uh, fight all you can, especially in the beginning of the game, because otherwise it's going to get a ton harder later on. I mean, trust me. Um, even with my way of leveling up and stuff, it can get hard. Okay, you see that gate over there? We're gonna need to uh, go there and... Whoa, I see a spirit there. I totally missed that until later, I think. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Oh, uh, by the way, I leveled up somewhere in there. Uh, I went and uh, leveled up while uh, you guys weren't watching. Uh, but, yeah. We're gonna stop right here and the next thing is that uh, boss over there that we're going to fight. So, uh, yeah. Um, see you guys next time.